Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can fix outdated drivers in Windows 11. So if you have this same problem right now, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. So first thing you need to, go to do guys is go ahead and click on the Windows button in the keyboard plus the R button. So once you click those button, the run menu is going to pop out like this. And then go to the search bar and type control. Once you've typed control, just go ahead and then click on the OK button. And then the control panel is going to pop out like this. So once the control panel is pop out, just go to view by and then make sure you have category and then Go ahead and go to hardware and, sh and sound and that's what the menu will look like so once you're here in this menu just go ahead to devices and printers and go to device manager once you're in the device manager just go to the driver that you have problem with so if you have a problem uh, let's say with the monitor just go and click on this arrow and then you're gonna find your monitor, just choose it and then right click on it and go to properties. Once you're here in properties, just go ahead and then search, uh, look for the driver section. So just click on it. And then as you can see guys, here you're gonna find the name of your monitor and the, the dates of your driver. And also the most important thing, which is the version of your driver. So uh, from here, if you have uh, a bad version, just click on update driver. And then as you can see, guys, you're going to find the, the, this option saying search automatically for driver. Just click on it and then your driver is going to be updated. Once you updated your driver, just come back here and then check the version of your driver if it's changed. And then once everything is good, just go ahead and then click on OK and everything is good. And if you have, if you had any problems uh, with the new driver that you downloaded, just come back to this menu again and then click on rollback driver. So basically guys, what this button do is, is if the driver fails after updating the driver, you can roll back to the previously installed driver. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.